So what is up Africana fam? The dark skin mother of color is back and I'll be showing you guys how I achieved this beautiful ginger color from start to finish. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, then keep on watching. So I had some hair laying around in my house and these are in 20 inches. It is raw hair. Um, it's like a wavy curly type texture and they're all in 20 inches for the bundles and the closure is about a 16 inch I believe. Um, so right now to start off the dyeing process I'm going to go ahead with a bucket of warm water. And then I'm going to go in with my gloves and then my Clairol Pure White. 30 volume developer and then this is some quick blue bleach powder and I'm going to pour that into the water and then I'm going to follow up with the developer inside and I'm just using this little whisk to just mix up um, the concoction all together. This is how you do a bleach bath you guys this is like working smarter not harder you know your girl is a little lazy so i don't like to work hard i like to work smart okay and this is how you work smart so again i'm whisking that up making sure i have a nice even consistency you just want to make sure you get all the powder inside the water and the 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 developer and everything's just mixed up and nice and you should have a nice bleach bath once you're done mixing it up so now what I'm doing is I'm just dipping the bundles and the closure inside of the bleach bath. You want to make sure that you're also brushing the hair while you're dipping it each time so that it is dying evenly, you guys. And I'm just doing this to, again, all the bundles and the closure. And I'm going to let that sit and submerge in there for about an hour. And I want to go for like this nice golden brown color so we have a nice little base for our actual dye. So let that sit for about an hour and then now that that's done as you guys can see I went ahead and shampooed it and I'm only shampooing I'm not using conditioner yet because we are using dye um, so I just went ahead and shampooed the hair and just washed out the hair of the bleach and then I'm gonna go back in with another warm bucket of water and then I'm going into my kiss color semi-permanent dye in the color Cajun Spice and I use about two to three bottles of this and I'm just mixing up the dye into the water and making sure that there's that there's no clumps and stuff especially because I'm dipping my closure inside there I don't want any clumps of the dye to end up on the lace that is a big no-no so I'm just making sure that it is clump free and then I'm going to go ahead and dip the bundles inside and again as you're dipping it you want to make sure that you're combing the hair through making sure that the dye is um you know hitting every strand of the hair and i do this for about three to five minutes on each bundle and closure for this one you don't have to let it sit for that long the color would take pretty much immediately so again just three to five minutes and you're fine now on to conditioner i went ahead and rinsed off the excess Dye, and now I'm applying some conditioner onto the hair letting that sit for about 20 minutes and then rinsing it out and letting this air dry and I went ahead and just made it into a wig you know off camera and stuff and you guys are going to see that in the next segment but again leave your conditioner on for about 20 minutes let it air dry um rinse it out let it air dry and you should be good to go all right, y'all, so this is how the hair is looking like. This is how it's looking like with, you know, it made into a wig and stuff. It's looking cute already, you feel me? You know, I'm looking real, real nice. So now on to the styling, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and part this into a middle part. I was thinking of doing some bombshell curls with, you know, a nice little bust down. So I'm just, you know, parting it into the middle part with my rat tail comb. And the closure is a bit bumpy, so I'm going in sections and using my Care Care Wax Stick and I'm applying that on the roots and then using my hot comb on the hottest setting just to make sure that it lays nice and flat. We do not need a bumpy closure wig, y'all. Uh-uh. This is not 2012. We're not going for the bumpy look no more. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, go in sections, use my Care Care Wax Stick and, you know, just, you know, bust it down with my hot comb. This is how it looks. So now, as you guys can see, the hair is naturally wavy, and I'm just going to go ahead and use my blow dryer just to get mostly the roots. Um, I want to blow out those waves just so when I'm curling it, you know, I don't have any crimpiness going on while, you know, I'm doing the curls. And yeah, 
I'm just blow drying that in the hottest setting, making sure that I'm getting out most of the waves out. Um, you don't want it bone straight, but I do just want it to just be puffy and not wavy. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut some mean layers into this wig, y'all. I'm going full-blown, like, heavy layers in this hair, y'all. Considering the fact that all of the bundles are the same length, I had to go in and do some, some dirty work with this, you know. I had to, you know, cut some real heavy layers up in this to get it to flow. So that's exactly what I'm doing, y'all. I'm just going to go ahead and cut into layers. I'm going to go ahead in sections and cut in a diagonal. And you should end up with a V. I have a full video on how I do my layers from start to finish up on my channel. I'll leave it somewhere in, you know, this little box over here um, for you to watch it if you're looking to do full-blown layers. I'll be using my Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Serum um, before I start curling the hair. Just as like my heat protectant. And then I'm going to go in sections and curl my hair. I'm going to be using my, my Marcel iron. Um, this is the Hot Tools Marcel iron, and I believe it's in one inch. And I'm just going to be curling the hair away from my face. And you're just going to see me just do that repetitively throughout the entire video. So, yeah, just curling away from the face, making sure that's faming my face and stuff. And, yeah. And when I'm usually done with the curl, I like to hold it in my hand for about a couple of seconds just so that the, it could like cool down in my hand before I release it. And this will just make the hair hold the curl better. And again, you're just curling the hair away from your face so it can frame your face. And I don't know if it's just me, but I be struggling using the Marcel iron still, y'all. Like, I get the general gist of using it, but, you know, my hand placement sometimes, it be a little shaky. So, don't mind if I'm moving like a little slow poke, y'all. Um, I still get the job done regardless. You get me, yeah? So, um, yeah, just don't mind me being slow. Um, the Marcel iron is really hard to use. Um, you know, I never went to be to school, so, yeah, this is very new for me. <laughs> All right, now on to the fun part. I love doing the bang area. So I'm using my Babyliss um, Titanium Curling Iron in the one and a half inch. And I like to use that for the bang area because I don't like the bang area super, super tight. I want it to be that nice, flowy type of vibe, you know? So um, definitely more bombshelly than the rest of the hair. The hair is giving more of Shirley Tempo, but I want the bangs to just get bombshell. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say, but or my terminology but i think i get what i'm trying to say um i just really want it to be pretty loose in the front just so i kind of like you know have a little swoosh type of thing going on but yeah 
So overall, this is how the hair looks. Oh my gosh, it's looking so good. Look at them curls, y'all. But now I'm going to go into my cheese silk infusion um, hairspray and I'm going to spray down my hair. And I went ahead and did my makeup off camera. I did record my makeup and I forgot to record the most important part, which is the eyebrows. And I'm super tight, so I couldn't even add this into this video. But yeah, if y'all want to see how I did like the whole ginger brow thing, go ahead and comment that down below. But right now, I went ahead and put the wig on my head, and now I'm combing out them curls. I like to use a pretty wide tooth type comb type of situation to comb out the hair. And as you guys can see, I'm like recurling the hair just a little bit in the front, just so it could frame, frame my face a little bit more. And you just want to play around with it until you get your desired look. And overall, these are the finished results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. If you have not, please click that subscribe button and also that bell to get notified of when I drop videos. I'm officially back, y'all. I missed y'all. I know I've been gone for so long, um, but I'm back, y'all, and I'm better. So I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Later.